Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are going to talk about this popular style using the chain to make it into men's ring band. Are you ready? Let's get started. That's starting from scratch to design this ring, we want to set the ring size in this demonstration for 16 millimeter, and now we want to know how long it is by using the command length, and it say it's 50.265. Let's make a copy here, and we want to draw a straight line on the side with exactly the same length. So this means if this ring is being straightened, and this is how long it's gonna go. In this is going to be so it depends on how many sections that you want we kind of want to get an idea so if i want to divide it this one into 24 and each of the link will about this long so let's go to the top view and let me move this one uh, align to the horizontal center type it zero then we'll have it on the construction plane so my link is going to have one talking on the other one so i'm going to draw the straight line and roughly going something like this to this and this is how this is going to be talking at my front view i want to do the design this is going to be something like that as well and i want to mirror this one to the other side and i simply just want to connected those two by using the blend command and we want to blend from here to here and again from here to here and uh, if this is too bumpy you can kind of move it in like that and let's go ahead to join everybody here all right now if this is over the space that you have you can do adjustment but we can also do adjustment later on let's take a look on this uh, in the perspective so I have this one and I have this one I need to have a curve look like this follow this uh, angle so we are going to use the command curve from two view and we're gonna pick up this curve and this curve and so that's how how we get this new curve here so let me mark it into the red color okay and that is the one we're going to use so I'm going to temporarily hide in this one this curve and this curve and then I'm going to come over to the top view and pick up this curve and we want to mirror to the other side like that okay so now we need to connect at this part now if you feel like this is too open you may want to moving in a little bit something like this or you can tilt it if you want to and then we wanted to mirror again to here okay so now to connect it them i'm going to draw a line where i want them to be connected and then i wanted to trim this section off so then we get two opening there all right so then i'm going to blend the curve from this end to this end and going to get something like that again you want to go this end to this end and then we can moving those two point in a little bit all right, so if everything look okay to you, just go ahead to join it and you will have a completed curve. All right, so now we need to make uh, the profile. I like to use the conic corner. So let me snapping into here, bringing up about. This size and coming in like this, and we want to move it to close to the center. All right, and then we want to also making a copy mirror to this side. And we might need to do a test first. So let's go ahead to use the sweep one rail. And this is the rail you're going to go from here to here. And let's take a look on that. Now, this is like jamming there. If you see that happen, you do have the option here for trimming the meter and it will get something like this notice that this is overlapping here that means our cross section is way too close so i'm going to delete the cross section on one side and i actually want to move this outside a little bit more let's record a history and we want to make a mirror image to the other side let's do it again with the sweep one rail and you got rail cross section and cross section 
make sure it's aligned right in the right place and then now it looks good there now if that looks okay to you just go ahead to close the sweep give it a try we are going to making a copy going from this point to this point and see how they look there they might need to go a little bit inside and so it will have a better casting or it might be too fat there in this case that we are looking at it is about a little bit more than two millimeters so it should be fine the thickness wise so you probably want to more focus on the top okay so now we have this on it we need to have this piece onto this ring you can simply just moving this one to the top and to do the polar array but what i like to do instead of just moving to there on the top i actually wanted to do this way so first things i wanted to do is moving this uh, on top of the line so you're not cutting inside of a ring shank and changing the ring size the second thing i wanted to do is using the flow along curve we're gonna pick up the uh, object and base curve and also the target curve all right so as you can see it is deforming a little bit so um, if you're using this one for polar array it won't have every single point to stick it out but you can try both of them and see which one work for you okay so then i'm going to try the polar array and original we have in mind is 24 and then so you want to try 24 and notice that we actually need double of them so it will locking in the middle um, so i'm going to change the number so maybe have 36 and to see if that working fine for you there so double might be too much that's why i want to edit another uh, 12 in there and if you like that let's click enter and see if that working fine there all right so now you can have one row or after bowling union then you can move it up for another row just need to make sure they are overlapping so that way you will have a better uh, casting result or you can uh, like what I have here is reverse uh, the direction so this opposite direction on two ring band. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanted to learn more about Rhino 3D software and how to transfer a 2D image into 3D model, I have a free webinar to show you six different ways to transfer the 2D image into 3D model. The link is in the description below. It's completely free. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next.